Yeah, 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 yeah. Good uh, day, students. Uh, I welcome you to another class. Uh, this is the third stream of our online uh, classes on civic education. And uh, if you recall, in our previous classes, we uh, centered our focus, our light on the concept of human rights. Uh, we talked about the, the concept of human rights, the media of fundamental human rights. Uh, there, we also looked at the genesis of fundamental human rights. And I told you exactly what happened in, on September 10, 1948 where a group of 48 countries uh, came together under the umbrella of the uh, United Nations uh, to ratify and declare the Universal Declaration of uh, Human Rights. And uh, ever since that time, human rights has been uh, one important uh, aspect of uh, human being in the entire world. And uh, all the 14 members uh, of the United Nations at that particular time uh, made it mandated for themselves to put it in their constitution so as to serve as a reference point where people can uh, all, always refer to and uh, get their fundamental human rights to them. Uh, in the second uh, uh, stream of the classes we had, we talked about the kind of studies of human rights, and if you recall very well, there we talked about those features of. Uh, fundamental human rights and you made it uh, so important to the existence of uh, human being. Uh, there we talked about indivisibility of human rights, uh, we talked about uh, nationality of human rights, we talked about uh, human rights being interdependent, we also talked about uh, human rights being universal, as you say, everywhere you go in the world you have every right to uh, enjoy your fundamental human rights. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to welcome all of you uh, to the uh, third stream of our online classes. And uh, inshallah today, we shall be looking at uh, the categories of human rights. And as you can see, uh, like I said, human rights, as, as many as they are, we can subcategorize them into different uh, uh, areas. And uh, as for, for the benefit of this particular class, we have been able to uh, divide the uh, fundamental human rights into four uh, categories. Uh, category one talks about uh, civil and political uh, rights, where uh, in the second category we have economic rights. Uh, the third category, we are going to be looking at uh, social rights. And the fourth one is on environmental uh, rights. All the fundamental rights, just like I said in our previous classes, that uh, all the countries that are members of the United Nations have a part, or a portion of uh, uh, their constitution you know, dedicated uh, to reflect uh, the concept of uh, human rights of uh, their uh, uh, citizens. Just uh, like I said in our previous classes, Nigeria, as an example, being a member of the United Nations, uh, in the 1999 Constitution, there is a particular chapter there, which we know as uh, Chapter 4. That is where the concept of uh, human rights, all the fundamental human rights, are uh, embedded, are uh, well spelled out uh, for the citizens. And uh, it is also, they are also there to serve as uh, points of uh, reference for the citizens. Uh, in Nigeria. Just like I said, uh, we're going to be looking at categories of human rights uh, in our today's uh, class. Uh, looking at the board, you see that we have some of them reaching out, saying the following are the categories of human rights. Uh, these include one, civil and political uh, rights, meaning that there are some rights that are categorized as uh, civil and uh, political uh, rights. These are rights that takes uh, that take care of our uh, political uh, interest. Say, for instance, now under the constitution, you have rights like uh, right to uh, to vote and be voted for, freedom of association, 
freedom to form assembly or to join uh, uh, any association of your choice, freedom from torture, freedom of expression, uh, and so on and so forth. All these rights, when you look at them, they are rights that, uh, that are focused on political, uh, uh, civil and political uh, development of uh, the citizen of, of the country. Take, for instance, you say a right to vote and vote their vote. And I said in one of our classes uh, before now that once you are of age, you are mature. For instance, the Constitution stipulates that in Nigeria, stipulates that when you are 18 years of old, uh, 18 years of uh, age, you have the right to uh, join any political or political party of your choice. You have the right to vote and also to be. Uh, voted for. Then we also have uh, freedom of association. Just like I said, I said there are some uh, uh, cave caveats, uh, let's say uh, limitations to some of the rights we're talking about. You know, you cannot say because you have the fundamental human right to uh, to enjoy and you terminate another person's life without you know uh, any constitutional uh, uh, backing for that automatically. The ones uh, uh, an individual rights uh, doesn't cover that area, and uh, a, a person cannot vote when the, the provision uh, did not stipulate uh, for that particular age. But once you are 18 years old, according to the Constitution of Nigeria, you have the right to vote, and when you also get a certain uh, certain number of years, uh, you can be voted for as a candidate in an election, then freedom of association, as long as that particular association is, is known to the law, is recognized by the Constitution, and uh, it's an association that can operate within the confines of, of the law or of, of the land, but automatically one can uh, join that particular association. You cannot say because uh, you have freedom of association then, uh, or you have the right to uh, uh, form an assembly then you join uh, an association that uh, uh, serves as a threat to the national security and to the lives and property of the citizens. No, once fundamental human rights doesn't cover that kind of uh, association, you cannot join uh, uh, any of the outlawed uh, association, you cannot join association like uh, uh, Boko Haram, Al Shabaab, and whatever. All, all these associations, they are all associations that are outlawed and they are not recognized by the law of, of, of the land. Then, another example of, of uh, rights under the civil and political rights is freedom from torture. It will say, no one, as long as one uh, can function and operate within the confines of the law, no one should be tortured uh, 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 unduly. Because uh, you have the right to live, you have the right to also uh, belong to any association you want to. So you, that particular uh, uh, fundamental category of fundamental human rights guarantees that one can enjoy freedom from uh, uh, torture. And also we have freedom of expression under that as part of a civil and political uh, right. And uh, this particular right uh, simply talks about uh, one having the right to express his or her mind uh, in any situation you find yourself. And just like I said, this particular uh, 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 right also has its own limitation. There is, there is a limit, there is an extent to which one can go uh, in terms of expressing your uh, fundamental uh, uh, freedom of expression. Uh, you don't have the right, you know, uh, to, to, to say what you are not supposed to say or what is not real about another person, which under the law can be termed as uh, as a slander. Because if you say something that is not real, that is not genuine about another person, and that is not confirmed about another person, and you claim to have the right to express yourself, uh, that cannot be taken as freedom of expression. Uh, and such a person uh, can face uh, full of, of the law. Uh, the second category of fundamental uh, human rights uh, actually talks about uh, economic rights. Under this one, this includes 
right to work, right to give employment. Uh, another example is right of free choice of employment and the right to join a trade union. So, uh, this particular one is, is one particular uh, in, is, is one category of uh, uh, human right that uh, takes care of people's economic uh, uh, viability or economic development uh, in the society. And you can see, just like they said, it under the uh, characteristics of fundamental human rights, meaning that when you have under the uh, we discuss in the in the uh, in the of uh, uh, human rights, meaning that the rights cannot be separated from the owner of the rights, and under the indivisibility of uh, uh, human rights, meaning the the one can enjoy, the rights cannot be divided. All the rights we have as human beings cannot be divided. Once you have opportunity to enjoy one, you can also enjoy uh, the other. So, and as far as, uh, for as long as one has the right to enjoy civil and political rights, and you also have your economic right guarantee, all these rights under the economic rights uh, can be uh, enjoyed. For instance, Every citizen has, uh, that is of age to work has the right to work anywhere as long as that work is recognized by the law of the land and is not something that can pose threats uh, to the environment and the, and the country in general. Uh, one has that right to enjoy, right to gainful employment, uh, that is uh, another uh, right that's uh, is there embedded under the economic rights. We also have right to free, free choice of employment. Uh, people have, uh, have the right to uh, choose uh, the work they think or they believe uh, is suitable for them uh, in the society. It's not a must that one should do, uh, I mean, forcefully do uh, a particular uh, job. As long as you have the choice to choose in between the jobs, I mean, uh, the jobs we have in society, one can as well do that. Right to join trade union. Uh, this particular uh, right is also under uh, the examples of economic rights, and is one particular right that is guaranteed by the constitution. That as long as one has right to uh, to work, and uh, also. Uh, to gainful employment, then it's also guaranteed that one can join trade union of one's uh, uh, choice. All these are some of the rights we have under uh, economic rights. We have more than this, but for the sake of this particular class, we we'll limit ourselves on these uh, uh, ones we have on the board for now. Then let's just go to the third categories of uh, uh, human rights. This uh, one talks about social rights. These are rights that arise from the social contract. And examples are right to education, freedom of association, freedom from work, freedom of movement, uh, ATC. Uh, as we all know that uh, human beings are social animals. We live to interact. We live to depend on others. And uh, because of that, our relationships uh, are interwoven and interrelated. Uh, there must be a need for one to enjoy the rights uh, as uh, one as social animals in society. For example, now we have rights to education, we have freedom of association, we have freedom for one, freedom of, uh, of movement, uh, ATC. These are some of the rights that are embedded under the social uh, are right, and all of them are enshrined in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As I said, that they are all well spelled out in Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For instance, like I said, right to education, every citizen has that right, you know, to enjoy uh, from the government, even from the parent you have the right to education. At least the Constitution State stipulates that basic education is a must for every citizen uh, to have. The another example under the social rights is freedom of association. Every uh, human being 
just like I said, we are all social animals. And we, we, we live by interacting with others in society. That is why I said that we are, our logics are interrelated. And because of that, we, we continue uh, uh, continuously uh, moving along with others in society. And uh, as a result of that, we need to form association, belong to one particular association or the other. And in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the process of doing that, our, uh, uh, the, the Constitution guarantees that every human being uh, can belong to any association of his or choice. Then the, the another one there is freedom from want, and we also have freedom of movement. Just like I said, all these rights are interrelated. If one has rights uh, to form an association or to belong to an association, then really such a person should also have the right uh, to movement. As social animals as we have, one cannot stay in one particular place. The only thing that can make human being to live and enjoy is stay on the surface of the earth is by moving from one place to another. So, and as a result of that, the Constitution guarantees that people can move uh, as they feel uh, like unless there is a state of emergency uh, where COVID is being declared. Then the last one under the categories of human rights is environmental rights. Um, as the name or note of sounds, we all can say that it talks about environment. I will say this includes those rights that guarantee our living in decent and clean environment. Environment that is free of pollution, environment that is free of chaos, environment that is free of war, environment that is free of, uh, uh, of fear. That is the kind of, uh, uh, that is the focus of environmental rights. In other say, every human being should be able to live in a decent and clean environment. And that is why you see that there are places where we have revolution, where we have protests uh, uh, today around the world. And uh, people can, can go and take, uh, uh, sue the government to court uh, if they discover that the government uh, did not live up to its uh, responsibility in terms of uh, uh, keeping the environment uh, uh, clean. So these are the, uh, the categories, uh, the areas where the fundamental human rights are divided uh, into. And the, the focus of this is for people, uh, for citizens to know which uh, group of rights or fundamental human rights belong to a, a particular uh, category. And all those ones that, you know, that are to do with civil and political rights are classified under civil and political rights. Those that have uh, uh, was it something to do with economic rights, they are all categorized under economic rights. And those that, are, that belong to social rights, they are all stipulated and enshrined under the social uh, rights. And lastly, those that have to do with uh, environmental rights, they are all there classified under uh, environmental rights. And at this point, I want to believe that if they ask uh, you, for instance, I say that uh, a freedom to, to, to vote in an election belongs to which particular, uh, which category of uh, fundamental human rights. And just today, I want to believe that you will be able to tell me that such a right is under uh, political rights. And take for instance now, if I say that, oh, uh, student, tell me which, uh, which category uh, does uh, freedom to live in a clean and decent environment belong to? You should be able to tell me where such rights, uh, under the category such a right is, uh, is. Then, which category of rights is right of the employment? 
we should also know that such right is under economic uh, uh, category of, of right. Uh, with this, I want to believe we must have learned something about uh, the categories or the aspects of uh, fundamental human rights under uh, the classes of each, uh, some of them, uh, which they belong to. And uh, with this, I would like to say uh, thank you uh, for staying uh, there and listening to the uh, class. Like I always say, uh, for us to fight this uh, pandemic, we have to follow all the precautionary measures uh, put in place by the medical practitioners uh, uh, in Nigeria and by station in the world at large. Uh, by washing up our hands with, uh, uh, with soap under the running water, uh, and also apply uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, we should also observe uh, what we know as social uh, distancing. And uh, at all times, we should cover our nose. Uh, I think by doing this, we can all individually and together we will fight and uh, eradicate uh, COVID 19 from our society. Uh, at this point, I want to say thank you very much for being there. And this marks the end of the third stream of our class under the uh, human rights uh, as a concept. Thank you and God bless you all.